We are going to go back and uh, continue our coverage of that as we wait on the grand jury announcement of the decision of whether or not to indict Officer Darren Wilson. At this time, we want to speak with Jeff Rorda, who has raised funds for Officer Darren Wilson and is a union representative for the St. Louis police, and he is joining us from St. Louis. Uh, thank you so much for being here, Mr. Rorda. We do appreciate it. Good evening. How are Can, you? I'm doing all right. Can you just give me a little bit of a insight in how the police, the law enforcement uh, departments are, are handling this time. I mean, there's a lot of attention on the citizens of Ferguson, on protest, on the police response to it, but what's happening inside the law enforcement departments among police officers? Well, it's a very tense time. You know, we are hoping for the best, but bracing for the worst. Uh, and, uh, you know, just uh, hoping that the public response to uh, to the grand jury decision is is uh, is more tempered than the response was uh, in the wake of the Michael Brown shooting. Well, speaking of that response and that tempered response, what really seemed to turn the temperature down, if you will, back in August after the clashes was pulling out the riot gear uh, and uh, removing some of the militarized response to the people who were out on the street. Of course, uh, the governor brought in uh, St. Louis Highway Patrol Captain Ron Johnson, who is a son of the area, uh, to take charge in the police response. I'm wondering if you think that this preparation, bringing the National Guard Guard back in, putting all the police departments on such high alert might be perhaps repeating the same thing again. I don't, I don't buy any of that. Uh, this nonsense about a militarized response is just not the reality. Uh, police officers were there to protect life and property uh, in, in the course of, of doing their duties. They, uh, they have a right to uh, protect themselves with protective clothing and equipment and uh, to blame the, the crowd response on the police uh, when what we actually saw was every night police tactics changed and the crowd response remained the same. And that was uh, organized attempts to uh, kill and injure police officers that were there to protect that community. No, I understand that. I understand the point that you're trying to make. However, you know, in the, the citizens of this country, including Ferguson, have a constitutionally protected right to peacefully assemble and to Absolutely. protest. Uh, and right. uh, many have and, and said... And to do so and, safely, and, and they can't do that without law enforcement there to make sure they do so safely. Yeah, yeah. I think sometimes, though, perception is reality. And, and when law-abiding citizens see su uh, such a response by police as if something wrong is going to happen, that that in itself is pr provocative. Well, perception's only reality when you're willing to ignore the actual reality. And the reality was that uh, that, that, that militarized equipment saved police officers' lives. Uh, they were being hit. Uh, in the helmets with glass bottles and bricks. Uh, there are pock marks on the side of those armored vehicles uh, from bullets hitting the sides. Uh, the, uh, to, to, to claim that uh, the equipment is the culprit here rather than the bad acts of some of the folks in the crowd, not everybody, but some of the violent folks in the crowd is just ludicrous. Yeah, I think everybody would agree that it was not everybody. It was a few bad apples that escalated these situations in the past, and let's hope that doesn't happen this time. Before I, I have to let you go, uh, have you been in contact with Officer Darren Wilson, and how is he? Not this week. Uh, when I talked to him uh, some time ago, he, uh, he was in as good a spirits as you could expect in this situation. But, uh, you know, as much as... As, as folks in law enforcement and folks in the community are sitting on pins and needles, you can imagine that that's much worse uh, for, for Officer Wilson and for, and for the Brown family. I mean, this is, this is really the, uh, for them, it's a much uh, more tense situation. Can you confirm uh, or deny the rumors that media has been uh, reporting, and that is that Darren Wilson has been negotiating the terms of his resignation? I don't know anything about that, no. D don't know anything about that. Well, we certainly do hope that there that peace prevails no matter what that grand jury decision is. Uh, On Jeff that Rorty. we can agree. Yes, indeed. Jeff Rorta, thank you very much. I appreciate your time. Thank you. You're watching Arise America.